Hey everyone, this is Devil Trigger from the Mayonaka Midnight Forums, and welcome to our second video vlog. I'm here today with uh, two friends of mine, two staff as well. I'm here with Glenberg89, say hello to the people. Hey guys, how you doing? Cool, cool. And I'm here with moderator Lloyd Irving. Yo, what's up, bros? The bro and the formal man. The formal black man. <laughs> Alright. Today we have a few things to talk about, though actually I'm going to break script here for a second, guys, and talk about a little issue that I've wanted to address for a little bit of a while now. So, if you're actually watching this vlog and you care, you might be aware of this, but last week Dustloop uh, took up this game and gave it its own section, giving its own feedback, or that kind of stuff. And I've had people ask, like, oh, is this, like, bad for us, and all that you know, fun stuff. I honestly don't think so. I mean, my logic here is why we want to be the best, or the best sorcerer any at any rate. Um, for the game itself, having more people talk about it, more sources and everything, it just means that the game's going to do better. And in the end, isn't that, like, the most important thing to us? Yeah, I agree about that. <laughs> like, I think some people just want, like, kind of a glory thing. But I'm fine with this. I mean, we're basically, like, a friendly rivalry kind of thing. Like, we're basically working together, coexisting. Something you see rarely in the fighting game community nowadays, but it is there. But yeah, I hope you guys, like, enjoy anything we bring out. Definitely check out Dust Loop as well, and we'll be working together as the game comes closer to its release. But anyway, since last time, we've had quite a few things come up since then. Um, guess we can do this first real fast. We had two new characters that were revealed. Uh, we actually were going to talk about them earlier. We made, like, me and Lloyd made this vlog, and that was like a day before the log test, so we scrapped it basically as soon as we heard about that. But, um, from Persona 3, Akihiko and Mitsuru were revealed to be playable characters in the game. Um, well, at the time we didn't have real any details, but now we know that, like, Akihiko is like a major ground fighter with, like, he's a boxer, that's obvious, he has a bunch of follow-ups to his moves, standard stuff, it's apparently really hard to play. Uh, Mitsuru is actually a charge character, which surprised me. Uh, any thoughts on these two guys? Um, well, I'm definitely looking into Akihiko. I like his potential and style. And me uh, me wanting to pick up Chie, I see that Akihiko has, also has the strength and speed advantage. And it looks like, you know, his ease of use is a little lower, but he'll take some skill to play. For Mitsuru... Now it seems like her being a charge character, you have to set up certain things correctly. So we'll have to see from there. Akihiko seems pretty interesting for the boxer character. He has the electricity um, for his awakening super nerd that slows him down. Mm, he seems he's gonna be real. It's gonna be really hard to learn how to get in to the opponents with Akihiko. But like once you learn, you're probably gonna like start beasting everybody. And for Mitsuru. Blaze Blue players can finally rejoice. You have your Jin. She's got a sword. She's got ice. You've got Ice Car. Ice Car in Persona 4, the ultimate Mainaka Arena. Oh. Yeah, so she may play either close to Jin or completely, you know, opposite. So we'll just have to see, you know. <laughs> That's true. I don't know about that, to be honest. I mean, while you do have your sword and you do have your ice, just the fact that she's a charge character just says, no, that's not Jin. Jin is far easier, just on the premise of not being a charge character. She's probably just gonna have amazing normals to make up for that. I'm pretty sure opposite. She only has, like, two moves. She reminds me of Guile more than anything. There's a guy who needs a new move. Right, flash kick. <laughs> true, true. Alright, um, before we get into the log test stuff, uh, recently there's been a couple new stages known as well. Glenn, do you want to tell the people? 
Um, yes, um, so I'll go into the new stages that we found. So the other day, um, during the low test, the gym stage and the Yasugami high stage was revealed. So with the gym stage, it looks like a little interesting. You have just all of this stuff in the background going on with chairs stacked on top of each other, caution signs, and it's like the basketball court, so I think that's some pretty cool scenery. And now I'm just thinking of that, like, that gif you showed me, the polish your ball thing. <laughs> yeah, probably. That's terrible. We'll show you a picture of that so you know the joke. Yeah. Yeah, I still get it. And for the second stage, it's Yasugami in front of the school. So the interesting thing about this is there's actually TV stacked up around where the fountain area is. And... I know, I kind of like it. It has like the whole cherry blossom tree thing going on. And it's a bright stage. I even noticed a little TV camera. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Sorry. I just wanted to say something. It's kind of weird because in one picture, it shows them without the TVs. And then in the next picture, it shows them with the TVs. I think that's just like, a lot of these stages seem to be really interactive. And just like simple things like getting hit on the ground will just kind of cause like effects in the background. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, that goes into the next level, the classroom. I actually noticed in our latest Loke Test video, you can find it on our channel, when um, they, when the characters collide near the objects, they actually, the tables actually shake, or they move kind of like in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. So, I think that's a pretty cool aspect. I actually noticed, like, one thing. I don't know which stages will qualify under, but, um... Our friend Scratch on the forums posted these images of the load tests themselves, like people playing on the machines, and there's this one image where it's like Aigas versus Akihiko. But what's weird about it is it seems it's kind of like in two stages. Like on the right is the um, TV studio area, but on the left it looks like the classroom, so... I don't know what's going on there, that seems really weird to me though. Perhaps like, you know, gimmick stages. Well, I guess every stage could be a set. Yeah, it seems like every stage has some type of sort of TV thing going on in it. If you notice, like, on some of the ceilings, you've got the little backlights going on in there. And, well, this is just something I'm not 100% sure of, but I wonder if it'll be a thing about, like, between rounds, like, certain things will change on the stages, because we've seen that in other fighting games as well. Oh, kind of like Cross Tekken? Yeah, that type of deal. Just without the terrible, terrible gem system. <laughs> Gem system on blast. Only here on Mayanaka. That's right, it's everywhere. Anyways, now on to the log test itself. Alright, Lloyd, you want to walk us through log test, video, notes, all that fun stuff? Okay, well, we do have a, a video, a log test video, posted up, and to many people, um, displeasure, it happens to be two of the most seen characters already. You versus Chi. Yay. That's right, Glenn's happy, but no one else is. Yeah, and it also shows uh, a little sneak peek of what Teddy looks like. You get like a troll, five seconds of Teddy, and he makes a funny dropping animation when he gets sweeping down. That's about it. I love how he like waddles around. I love that sprite work. Yeah, his, his facial expressions are so dramatic too. <laughs> it's so funny. I like when Chie's kicking his ass, his head like pops off for a second. I love that. That's what makes the footage so priceless, he didn't even have a chance to counterattack or anything. I actually do have this, um, uh, this source, uh, Safi on our forums, he knows, like, a few guys. Uh, he's actually working on getting their videos, and they do have some, but I believe it's cell phone quality. Hopefully we'll be able to put it up soon, but there's some difficulties, but as soon as it's ready, it'll go up. Hopefully. Alright, and um, if you want to stay up to date on all the log test happenings from the very first log test, um, just check us out on the forums. I'll give you a few links here. There's a thread to go over any general log test things. You can check out the character sections to learn any all yeah all details that have been covered and known about each character. Um, join the discussion, join the forum. Yada yada yada, standard stuff, plug plug plug. Alright, as I go into this fourth thing, I've amazed Glenn hasn't begun beatboxing yet. 
But anyways, um, I've mentioned this in the own video, the form contest, um, now that we're getting more action, more subscribers, all that fun stuff. You know what, I'll let one of you two do this, because technically this could be referrals for you. Okay, everyone's favorite troll, Trig, uh, a few weeks ago, or probably a month ago, posted a video about a referral contest, and if you haven't checked it out, do so, the prizes are like great, I'm gunning for it myself, I want that first prize. So pretty much, if you have anybody, you have any friends who like Persona, or like fighting games, or like both, or don't like both, send them here, get a referral. They don't have to be friends. Let's bring them on over here, have them do the referral, and whoever gets the most referrals gets some good, pretty good prizes. It's pretty much like the free game with some figurines. Yeah, cool stuff. I'm paying for all this, by the way, so you guys better appreciate this. I appreciate it. Another thing I wanted to throw in, basically, it doesn't matter if you're an existing member or a new member, everyone has a fair shot at this contest. It's all, it all comes down to who's the most persistent about getting people to join, so... Yeah, I won't even end until, like, spring, guys, so you have plenty of time to start now. Alright, that pretty much is everything, um, yeah, basically everything to talk about today. You guys have any final notes for the people? Um, just keep tuning in to our channel as, like I said, we get frequent updates from multiple sources. We're even starting to appear on different websites, like, we even had an article on Shoruken.com the other day, so... Yes, finally getting noticed by SRK after months and months. But I'm not going to badmouth SRK anytime soon. No, nah, no. Nah. But, um, yeah, we even have some of our resources, you know, people who can or see stuff in Japan, so yeah. Glenn, the company man, any thoughts from the bro? Um, any of you interested in Yosuke, come over to my uh, Broske section over here where I. And that's enough from the bro. As really, that is about all the time we got for today, guys. Um, do what Lloyd said if you're crazy enough to like Yosuke. I'm Devil Trigger, here with my friends Glenn. I'm Glennberg89. And Lloyd. Yo, I'm Lloyd Irving, your number one bro. Signing out. Have yourselves a great day, guys. Stay tuned.